Everybody stand back! Let's light it up! On, reveal the... Let's light it up! Adventure time! At the frying pan! Let's light it up! Huh. So that is a pretty good run of the cryo hypostasis. Now I will introduce you the attacks the boss will perform. I will tell you where it's safe to be. If there's no safe area, then I will tell you how to dodge it efficiently without using uh, stamina or with minimal efforts. This boss is an elemental creature, so cryo is a no-no. So the gun you DPS, uh, sorry. Coming up next, the attack is Homing Icicles. So this attack will uh, shoot icicle at you, you are homing at you, uh, at a pretty dangerous speed. So it's better not to get hit by one. If you got hit by multiples, you are pretty much dead. The idiot proof way to dodge this attack is to stay far away and keep moving sideways. The method that I prefer is more aggressive, stay close range. The safe area is about 2 mili range away, and you need to dash at the last seconds to dodge the bottom missiles. At this range, all the missiles above in the air will miss you. If you feel comfortable with this technique, you can try to jog, but sometimes uh, the icicle might hit you if you don't have enough distance. The next attack is called Icicle Explosions. It will spawn icicles in front of your characters or where you stand. So to dodge this attack, uh, you basically just walk in circles or run in circles if you is not comfortable with walking. If you want to fancy, you can use jumping. The best way is to get inside the circles. To get there, you can use zigzag to dodge the icicles while you make your way there. The third attack is called Frost Wheel. It is slightly homing. To dodge it, look at it straight on, turn your character 90 degree, and then dash when it comes at you. It can do this attack up to 3 times. If it didn't stop, it's finished. Before the last attack, we have the Clap. Pretty easy to dodge, you can iframe it as well. The last attack is called Crystalline Skirt. It will create 3 rings that will damage you over time. To iframe this attack, you need to be on the second ring and then dash inwards after the first ring is complete. If you feel that iframing is difficult, you can always use Burst Iframe to do it. If you do get hit during the battle, these are the healers that you should pick. We have Bernard, Jean, Diona, Noel. Diona and Noel have shield. So if you need shield, pick them. You also can use Albedo or Chongli separately without heal. Uh, if you don't need shield, then Bernard and Jin. Of course, definitely not Barbaro Sama. She will freeze you to death. This boss has two phases. After you kill it once, it will enter this revival phase. It will gain a cryo shield that you need to destroy to stop it from healing. You can destroy using elemental reactions or using the ball that it shoot out. If you stay too close, like on the water, it will shoot the spike at you. And that's melee range. So where the ball is gonna land depends on where you stand. At this distance, the boss will shoot homing icicles. In fact, if you stand further away, uh, it is more dangerous. So what you should do is after you kill it, go to the torch, warm up a little bit, then go near to the boss. Wait at beside it, and then use your archer, and in both characters is fine. Use your charge attack to shoot it. Of course, if you stay close, the homing icicle will not hit you, but and also not too close that you use the spike attack. 
you might be wondering if Catalyst works. So Sucrose works. Uh, characters that looks like Mona, no. Lisa is kind of work because the radius is big. Uh, so I expect Clee might work. So generally, Catalyst is not that great. So don't use it. Now, as you can see just now, I break the shield using only two balls. So how do you achieve that? You can use blunt attack like claymore or explosions. And besides that, it's better to use elemental reactions. Any other elements work okay, pyro will work the best. So there's a lot of information, strategy and knowledge crammed into this 6 to 7 minutes video. So in terms of characters or which who you should pick to fight this boss, uh, you shouldn't pick characters that depends on cryo damage. Right? For example, Ganyu, that's a very obvious one. You also have Zhongyun and Kaya, though Kaya is slightly tense to the physical damage. Animal and Jewel will work, so if you are Xiao DPS or Zhongli, <laughs> they work okay, no problem. If you need to end the revival phase earlier using only two balls, you can use Xiangling, her Gobar and Burst. Usually just Gobar is enough. And whether you can use Saw to push the ball, yes you can, I tested it. But what Bow can do is you can adjust the directions while moving. Assume you are using PC, I know that mobile players have difficulties with Bow. So if you cannot control Bow well, you can use saw. A saw is very fast. Pole arm is slightly hard because there is also directions issue. So I would prefer either saw or bow. But I recommend bow if you can use it. So in terms of the team compositions, it's not so important. Make sure you have your DPS. If you need sub DPS, uh, whatever, right? That doesn't matter. Then you have someone to deal with the ball. If you don't need that, alright, exclude that, add another off carry in there like Fisher or Goba. Sorry, Xiang Link. And then if you need heal or shield, then add it in. So we have DPS, off carry, someone to deal with the ball, and then heal or shield. DPS wise, it's not so important. We are talking about strategy here. With strategy, you can do the boss using low DPS characters take longer, uh, maybe you need more heal in case you got hit. So healing at low DPS is more important. If you have high DPS, you can finish it earlier. So that means the boss have less chance to hit you. If you have any questions about this boss or the strategies, uh, leave them down in the comment section below. I will answer them if they are very good. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And good luck and have fun.